Sunil Rastogi, the 38-year-old tailor who was arrested in Delhi on Monday for allegedly raping dozens of girls, makes your skin crawl. Day after day, year after year, a man prowls the streets, stalks young girls, lures them into narrow alleys and deserted buildings and then disappears into the darkness with impunity. This happens not in some forsaken corner of Mufasal India, but in Delhi, right under the nose of two governments. Prima facie, Rastogi fits the stereotype of a crafty criminal, pervert and sexual deviant who thought luck was by his side and the powers above with him. All classical signs of a psychopath. He didn't seem to conform to any of the norms of civilization or respect the conventional definitions of right and wrong, moral and immoral, and, ironically, he invoked God and believed in a string of superstitions and pre-crime rituals. Rostogi was like a predator hunting in the urban jungle. He was having fun, believed in his invincibility, had no fear of the law or consequences of his actions. The only way to stop him was to notice his presence, his string of crimes and hunt him down. Unfortunately, if his confession is an indicator, nobody saw this pedophile for almost 15 years, and, when he finally got caught, it wasn't because cops were looking for him, he fell into their hands because, as Rastogi claimed, he ran out of luck when two girls escaped his net and their parents went to the police. Initial reports indicate that he was reportedly hounded out of Delhi in 2004 after sexually attacking a girl, arrested, and later released for allegedly molesting a girl in his hometown and had several other cases pending against him. So, Rastogi was definitely on the radar, yet he managed to slip under it without fearing rape dozens of young girls for years.